Now in this episode of Into the Wild, we're gonna be talking about a reptile that's native to South America, and that is the red-footed tortoise. Now the red-footed tortoise is a mid-sized tortoise. Uh, these guys will only get about 10 to 15 inches in carapace size, which is the shell. That's the carapace. And then you got the plastron, which is the bottom of the shell. Now these tortoises are omnivores. So unlike some of their cousins, these guys here will eat pretty much a variety of food that they can find. So they'll eat invertebrates, uh, things like insects, small reptiles, birds, uh, they will graze on grass, flowers, uh, anything they can find, even available fruit during certain times of the year, this little guy here will go up and grab that and eat it. Now these tortoises, they are native to the northern part of South America, so you can find them around the Amazon basin. The red-footed tortoise is also very closely related to the yellow-footed tortoise. Now they get their names from really pretty marks that you can see on their legs. Another feature with this tortoise is that they actually have a loaf shaped shell uh, that you can see and it's dark outlined by yellow outlines on that type of the shell which gives it a really pretty looking shell on this tortoise species. Now if you're looking to get a pet tortoise uh, this is actually a really cool tortoise to get. Like I said it is a mid-sized tortoise so you're basically looking at a full-grown tortoise that I'm holding right now and they are very social and they're very cool to watch. They move around and you wanna make sure you give them a nice outdoor enclosure and you gotta make sure that it's actually very warm. They come from a climate which stays pretty humid most of the year. Now remember, it's a tortoise, not a turtle. So this particular species does not live in the Amazon River. It lives on the outskirts and they love to move around, especially after a nice rain. And being in the rainforest, it's wet all the time. So these tortoises constantly are dealing with humidity, constant things being wet, and that makes these guys very happy. Now when these tortoises lay their eggs uh, and they hatch, you know, a lot of the small tortoises get preyed upon a, by a lot of predators. But once they become adults like this guy here, they basically have to worry about two things eating him or eating that, that tortoise. And that would be jaguars and people. Humans are a big part of the decline in the population of this specific tortoise species. Now these tortoises, they're very common in the pet trade. You wanna get this tortoise from a reputable source, a reputable person that breeds them, and you know they're coming from someone that's captive bred. Because one thing that happens is that these tortoises, they get caught and then they get shipped out in the illegal pet trade and they get shipped over and because they are a vulnerable species and that is due to trafficking this animal or catching this animal for a food source for the locals of that area in South America. Now another reason why the numbers are declining for this specific species is habitat destruction. And it's not just this tortoise that deals with this. Most animals on this planet are dealing with habitat destruction. So that's why we need to, as a race and as people, we need to make sure we take effect and save the natural areas that these animals call home. And that's very important for these animals to survive and be on this planet longer than we will and for our kids to enjoy. Now another cool feature that tortoises have and being able to tell a male from a female, so on the plastron, like I said, the bottom of the shell, notice how it actually is flat on the bottom. So that means that this one here is a girl. Sorry, I've been calling you a boy the whole time, but this is a girl. We do have four of these redfoots on the farm. So I didn't know I grabbed the female and I believe this girl here just actually laid us two eggs uh, a few weeks ago and they are in the incubator right now incubating. So if they happen to hatch, I'll definitely film and show you what a proud mom this one would be. Now I hope everybody enjoyed seeing this beautiful red-footed tortoise. We sure love them on the farm, that's for sure. But uh, 
Guys, I want to thank you all for subscribing to my channel. I want to thank you for dropping those comments below. And if you haven't, hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications. And I want to thank you all for watching another episode of Into the Wild with Jimmy Ripple.